defeats players us now with, uh, with underwear and socks for like three years and uh, it's not only supplying, it's really about being or having a partnership. Uh, in all my undershirts, you know, I, I really like something that's first and foremost is, is cool. You know, I really believe that having another layer, you know, helps disperse the, the sweat uh, and cools you down. Uh, very important for me is fit. You know, obviously you sweat a lot in a, in a bike race and, uh, yeah. you know, I want something that's going to be able to wig that sweat away. That's the most important thing for me, but obviously you keep it cool as well. There's no point having something that does that. It's going to make me sweat more, you know. Hey, we're here doing a little research for defeat in the Redwood Forest somewhere in California. Found a place to get some undershirt material. We're going to test it out today. Cut it out of this little depository here. Defeat. Recycle. And being from Australia, <laughs> do you guys uh, care about recycled clothing? Yeah, it's pretty big in Australia recycling, you know. from Austria and you guys are very environmentally friendly so does a recycled undershirt make sense to you? Oh, of course it's uh that's like the biggest goal I think for everybody of us like to keep our environment clean and yeah even in our sport we should start I mean we started already but more and more we do it better it is for us and for our yeah for the future of the green world. That's why I like something that keeps me kind of dry, and that's what kind of it doesn't it keeps you cool, but not cold. You know, not not wet and cold. You know? and, uh, for me, the DFI undershirt looks perfect for that, and uh, and that's why I use it, so I can get maximum oxygen in at the end of a race. You know. And um. Pretty much everything you look for in an undershirt. If it's cold out, it needs to keep you warm. If it's hot out, it needs to keep you cool. If it's wet, it needs to keep you dry. That's, you need everything. Now what I like, uh, base layers have to be different for every weather. Like I live in Austria, so I need a really good one for the winter, long sleeve and that keeps me dry and yeah even if I go like uphill and I start sweating and it dries up quick and yeah it keeps me warm yeah just to prevent not getting sick or getting a flu. You know the socks, the length of the socks, the undershirt, uh, the cut of the undershirt, all that is really important to us to so say it's, it's not really that we say like well this is what it is and, uh, and it's done, it's uh, like I said a partnership uh, it's um, it's really unique. It's uh, it's having input in products finally that goes to the market later than adjusted to our needs. It's it's just a great thing. Base layer in the Tour de France stage at yeah 35 40 degrees. Sorry, I have no idea how many Fahrenheit this is. <laughs> and I even wore the base layer there. Uh, there was a, a lot of races at the beginning of the year, I was doing a lot of climbing, I, was, uh, I wasn't on the best of form and I was out the back of the peloton most of the time every climb, so I was sweating a lot on every climb and then you know, I needed something that you know, I wasn't going to get wet and cold and that's the thing, that's like, like I said, you know, when you haven't got a vest on you know it's important that your chest is dry otherwise it's going to get, you know, if it's wet you're going to get the wind cold on it, it's going to make you sick or uh, you know, disable you to breathe and uh, there's. There was one stage in Algarve this year. It was uh, it was like 220k, just pouring rain the entire time. Um, you know, six and a half hours. Everyone was just soaked and then freezing. And the, if you have a good undershirt on that day, it was pretty critical. I mean, if you're not staying warm and staying insulated in that stage, then uh, then you were done. And Andrea Greipel was there at the end and won the stage and we had our whole team up there. I think, you know, it's probably because we uh, we were able to keep warm and the other teams weren't. 
Well, I have to tell you, you know, I don't want to be the person who designs base layers because if you see, you know, we're basically racing the rain, we're basically racing the snow, and we're basically racing like uh, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, that must be a tough job to be honest. And it's done really well. You still have, uh, you know, even in different weather conditions, you have different situations. You go uphill and you. You sweat like, you know, you think like you're in the sauna and then you just reach the top of a climb and you descend and you feel like cold and freezing. So that's really, really a big task that um, to get a base layer system done that keeps you dry, that makes you feel comfortable. And, and I have to say, Defeat is doing a good job on that. And, and if you see how it develops over years, it's getting better and better. And then you think like, wow, we do have the best uh, base layers. We do have the best shirts. And then next time, uh, Defeat comes up with some new stuff and it's even better, so, you know, wonder how that ends. And, uh, but uh, it's absolutely, yeah, high-end performance what we're doing. And, uh, and this is what we need to have then, and this is absolutely what Defeat delivers. Defeat's the, the maverick company around cycling, like to think outside the box, like to think new ideas, new technologies, new fabrics. I've been using Defeat products since I was 13 years old and, you know, there's it's the best product out there. Um, it's never let me down. Actually, that really light one that you gave me, mm -hmm. that you sent to me, I think, where was it? Was it grey? White. I've got one here, really, really, really light. That's the undie light. Mm. Yeah, I mean, no, that's the undershirt, the white one. Yeah, it's like yeah. really, really light. That was really good. <laughs> 